had to see me. I was working at a club. And he said, Jerry, he said, do you think you and your partner could get together? And when I had a little trouble at home, could you rise up and get me back in good graces with my wife? And I said, I'm going to try, Jack. You know? So I told Rice about it, and we got together. We wrote this song, and I was literally under a table pulling my hair. I said, this damn life, it ain't right. And he said, yeah, it is. And I said, no, it ain't. That's why you write the music, and I write the words. It's the work. You're not writing the last words. But anyway, I, I gave up and I said, I can't figure out what it is. So we called Jack and said, come by, we'll see if this is your song. And he came by and he listened to it and he said, boys, that's a, a good song, but I don't think that's exactly what I was looking for. So we said, okay. So we put it on the shelf. And about a year or so went by and Jeremy Lewis was coming to town and he and I were label mates. And I went over to talk to Jerry Kennedy was producing us both, and I said, I think I got a song that's nothing like Jerry Lee's ever cut before, but I could hear him doing this. And I gave him a copy of it, and he said, I'll play it for him. Next thing I know, he had cut it. So I'm going to try to do it for you. If I promise you to straighten up and put my life in order. If I swear to you on bended knees, I will hurt you again. If I become the kind of man that you want me to be, would you take?